Hi guys, and welcome back to your fifth tutorial in MATLAB. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat here. Today we're going to be discussing uh, what are called relational operators. And the incentive for this is to uh, learn how to compare values so that we can use these um, operators called conditional operators, which um, you might have heard of if you're familiar with programming the if, if else, uh, while loops, uh, etc., etc. But we need to be able to compare values before um, we can start utilizing these structures in MATLAB. So uh, to begin, there are six uh, relational operators in MATLAB, and um, the compare if values are equal, not equal, greater than, less than. And also, uh, there's a less than or equal to and a greater than or equal to. Um, the notation is similar to many other programming languages. Uh, I think the only real difference is the not equal to, which is a kind of a squiggly line equal to. But anyhow, uh, why don't we try some of them out here? Uh, I'm going to create two variables. Uh, let's see. Get the first variable be var1, and we'll set him equal to uh, 4. Um, create a second variable, and we'll set him equal to 5. All right. Um, so we have two variables. If we want to compare to see if they're equal to each other, that's simple. We just do var1 equal equal var2. Now the double equal sign means don't set it equal to, but just compare and see if these values are in fact the same. So if I press enter, I get a zero back. And in zero, getting back zero, that means that the test condition evaluated false. So they're not equal to each other. But if, say, let's say we use constants here instead. We know var1, oops, we use a squiggly line for not equal. Um, var1, again, we set equal to 4, so let's see, does var1 equal, or not, not equal, well, I guess I can put him back in there, because they're not equal, but not equal to, uh, to 5, so our two variables aren't equal, we get a 1 back, meaning they're not equal, evaluated true. Alright, we also have um, the greater than or less than operators. We know var1, again, is 4, so 4 um, is less than 5, so if I type var1, is it greater than var2? It should be no, right? So we get a 0 back. Or we can test, is var1 less than var2, which we know is true, we should get a 1 back, we get a 1 back. Lastly, we have the equals and are greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And that would be, in this case, var1 uh, less than or equal to var2? Yes, because it's less than. They're not equal, but it's less than. var1 is less than var2. We have, is var1 greater than or equal to var2? Um, that should evaluate false, correct? So we get zero. But we know var1 is 4, so what if we put a 4 here? That evaluates true because they're equal. var1 is greater than or equal to 4. Alright, um, so that's the six operators. Uh, one more thing that we should get into before closing this out today. Uh, we have what are known as the AND and OR uh, operators. We can make more complex uh, conditions this way. So let's say um, I'm going to use constants now instead of the variables. It might be a little bit easier to see what's going on. But um, Okay, so let's do uh, 1 equal equal to 1 and then the double pipe here, that means or. So if we type in We have two test conditions. We have a test condition in which 1 equals 1 and a test condition which 2 is equal to 3. So 
if we press enter, either one of them has to be true in order for we to get back a true. So it looks like um, this evaluated true because 1 equals 1. 2 doesn't equal 3, but 1 equaled 1. So we're good there. Now if I change this to 4, they're both false. So I get a false back, a 0. Um, and also there's the AND operator, in which case both test conditions have to evaluate true in order for us to get a true back. So does 1 equal equal 4? And does 2 equal equal 3? No. So if I press enter, I get 0 back. But if I change this to a 1, I change this to a 2, both conditions should, should evaluate true. So what we get back should be a 1, right? To say that both of these conditions have evaluated true. Anyhow, um, this concludes this tutorial talking about the relational operators and the AND and OR operators, but um, we'll get into a, a little bit more of this later because there's some other techniques we can use to uh, perform these operations on matrices and vectors. But that's it for now. Um, if I missed anything, shoot me an email. But um, yeah, we're going to start getting into real programming next where we start with if and loops and things like that. So stick around and hopefully you'll learn something. All right, take it easy.